Hey guys, so today I'm going to be upgrading my UX32 VD. Um, the upgrade has already been done. Um, I've already put in the wireless card and I'll go through the steps on what I used and kind of what you're going to expect when you upgrade it. The reason why I needed to upgrade the wireless card was because the Intel 6235 was very flaky. The connection con constantly dropped and I was getting very slow speeds. Um, it was just awful. I mean, when I was in the basement, I got maybe one megabit per second which was that's that's absolutely gross anyways so what i've done is i've installed a killer wireless card onto the system so let me just open this up and i'll show you so as you can see already um i'm already connected to my uh, network and it's running at 300 megabits per second um even right beside the router the intel could not pull 300 megabits per second um and just to show you what card i'm using i'm using the um, Killer Wireless 1202. Uh, it's a dual band card. Now remember, you have to get the 1202 model because we need integrated Bluetooth on this system. Okay, so I'm just going to shut this down so I can uh, flip it over. Oops. Okay, so I'm going to shut it down now. And as it's shutting down, so I just wanted to show you. Unfortunately, since I've already done the upgrade, I don't want to pull off all the tape and everything just to show you guys connectors. Um, if you guys really do want me to uh, pull it apart, just let me know um, in the comments. And if I do get enough comments and uh, emails asking me to pull it apart, then uh, I might go ahead and do it. But uh, for now, here's a picture of uh, the two wireless cards side by side. So as you can see, this one is the killer wireless. This one is the Intel. Um, you can see that the connector itself, this connector and this connector, the sizing is actually very different. Um, one's obviously smaller than the other. So that's what really gave me a lot of issues with, uh, with the upgrade. And that's why I did the upgrade off of camera because I don't know what to expect. I don't know how I was going to do it. So as I flip it over, hang on. And sorry about this too, my, uh, my tripod is broken so I don't really have a tripod for my camera at this time. So this is my, uh, my network card is right here. What I actually had to end up doing was because if you look at this uh, image here, I had to put two sides of tape here and here and I had to tape it around to hold the connections in place. As you can see, you can still see the two sided tape right about here. So what it is, I put two on the connectors and I had to tape it, uh, tape it down. The reason why I had to do this was because even after I modified my network card, the pin still didn't fit through the hole, so it was kind of teetering on it. It didn't actually like go right in, so I had to tape it down. Now, alternatively, what I was thinking about was you could probably cut the wire and solder it directly onto the network card, but the reason why I didn't want to do that was because I wasn't sure if this was going to work or not. I, would, I didn't know what kind of issue I was going to run to. And right now, since it's holding up properly, I don't see a need for it at this point, so I'd recommend taping it versus um, versus soldering the wires directly to a network card. Um, just as I can show you, here is the Intel card that it came with. Um, very similar to uh, to the Killer Wireless, but the only difference is obviously the, the connectors. It's a much smaller connector. So on the Killer Wireless, unfortunately since I put it in you can't see it, but on the Killer Wireless, this ring around the connector I squeezed it off so it was just that middle pin that was protruding out of the network card and then I forced the, the connectors on and then taped it on. Um, once again, if you want to solder it in, that might be a, a more solid solution than just uh, taping things on. Um, other than that, the only other solution that I could have thought about, which it did cross my mind, was replacing the whole antenna. Now, you can the antenna runs right across here and you just have to uh, kind of figure out what you're going to replace it with. I was thinking about using some scrap parts from another notebook, but uh, it's going to be very time consuming and I didn't think it was worth it. So at this point, it's running the killer wireless card and it's very healthy, it's uh, very fast, and uh, I like it a lot better than the Intel wireless. So if you have any questions, just uh, put it in the comment section below and I will try to answer them as best as I can. Thanks a lot.